there is always something happening around the world. We are here today to get you updated about events and programs from around the globe. A very good evening and warm welcome to the Ma Television Collective News. This is Rusty Khatki. Moving on to the headlines. Ten people have died of corona infection across the country on Wednesday. Six people, including two doctors and four nurses, have been infected at the teaching hospital. No vehicle passes to be issued starting today. Lockdown enforced in Butwell till Bhadra 5th. Protest if airline services not resume after Bhadra 16 airlines operators. Two kill and truck auto collision in Hitauda. Butwell Palpa section of Siddhartha Highway blocked due to landslide in two places. Around 2,000 containers belonging to Nepali businesses stuck in Tatapani Kerung since push. Four provinces to receive heavy rain today. Overall rainfall to reduce from tomorrow. Public are in trouble due to the delay in road maintenance in Chabil of Kathmandu. Two Nepali killed in UAE stabbed in the face and other body parts. 110 Nepalese died in UAE in five months. The UK's economic situation is deteriorating due to the corona epidemic. Here we go for news in detail. At least 10 people have died of corona infection across the country on Wednesday. Five died in the Kathmandu Valley, two at Kiss Medical College in Lalitpur, one at Nepal Med City, one at Patan Hospital and one at Hams Hospital in Kathmandu. With the addition of 10 people, the total death toll has reached 93. Day by day, the death toll has been rising across the country. Corona infection has been confirmed in two doctors and four nurses working at the teaching hospital in Marajgan's Kathmandu. Two doctors and four nurses in the emergency room were found to have corona infection on Wednesday. Corona infection has also been confirmed in the bus driver of the teaching hospital operating on Bhaktapur Road to transport the staff. According to the administration of the teaching hospital, the emergency services of the teaching hospital have been sealed after seven people were infected. The PCR test of the other doctors and nurses working in the hospital has been started, said Dr. Rohit Kumar Pokhral, director of the hospital. The Ministry of Home Affairs has directed all 77 districts and administration offices to stop the distribution of vehicle passes. The Ministry issued the notice on Wednesday and directed to stop the distribution of vehicle passes with effect from Thursday. The Ministry of Home Affairs has issued a circular to the chief district officers of all the 77 districts to stop the issuance of vehicle passes on the basis of the various decisions of the Council of Ministers and directives of the Ministry of Home Affairs. Given the high risk of corona infection, the distribution of passes will be stopped until further notice. So far, the total number of infected people in Nepal has reached 24,432, of them which 92 have died and 16,728 have recovered and returned home. Corona infection has skyrocketed since the government announced an end to the 120-day-long lockdown from Shravan 5th. Lockdown has been announced in Butwell. The Butwell Submetropolitan Executive Meeting has decided to lock down the submetropolis from 12 midnight on Thursday to 12 midnight on Badra 5. Deputy Chief Gumadevi Acharya informed that it has been decided to lock up the people of Butwell from Thursday night by giving them time to go out and come to Butwell. All services will be closed except for emergency during lockdown. The sub-metropolitan government has decided to lock down the community after transmission of corona infection started appearing in the community. It is seen that the crowd of the people in the market has increased after the opening of the lockdown and even general vigilance has not been adopted. The airline operators have warned to hesitate if the domestic air service is not resumed even after Vadra 16. The claim that billions of rupees have been lost due to the lockdown and the service sector itself was on the verge of collapsing. The union has demanded the government to resume the service, saying that they might have to shut down permanently if the airline industry is not brought into service immediately. The association also clarified that the airlines are ready to fly after COVID-19 in accordance with the standards of WHO and ICAO and the standards directed by the government of Nepal. The association has demanded to continue the service with the required health security standards, saying that the companies are facing daily financial loss due to its inability to operate for a long time. A statement issued by the association said that if the government wanted, it would be easy to contact the customers using the air ticketing system immediately. According to the association, thousands of people have lost their jobs due to the closure of air services and the aviation industry itself is on the verge of collapsing. Two persons were killed and one seriously injured when a truck and a car collided head-on at Tintapki of Basamadi in Makwanpur 3 of Hitora district. 
Police said the deceased have been identified as Baburam Rumba, is 32, and Ambit Lopcham is 35 of Manhari Village Municipality 5, Dilipur. The injured auto driver Tulu Kansa Khadka, 47 of Basadapur in Manahari Village Municipality 5, is undergoing treatment at Chure Hill. According to Indra Bahadur, Deputy Superintendent of Police Makwanpur, the truck N is 6 kg 1611 heading towards Narangad from Hitoda and the car N is 2 hg 3466 heading towards Hitoda Bazar from Bastipur collided on Thursday. The Butwal Palpa section of the Siddharthi Highway has been blocked due to landslides since today morning. According to the District Police Office Palpa, the road has been blocked due to a landslide near Jordhara of Tinao Gaupalika 5 and another at Tinao Gaupalika 3, Talusiddha Baba Temple. Police say that they are coordinating with the road division office to remove the landslide. After the containers coming from Kathmandu from Tatapani and Kerung Customs have been stopped in China for months, goods worth tens of millions of Nepali businessmen have started rotting on the way. Hundreds of quintals of food items, including saplings loaded in containers, have rotted away. More than 2,000 containers carrying ready-made garments, machinery and other commercial items are stranded in Kerung and Khasa in Tibet. Ready-made garments bought by Nepali businessmen last postmark are still stored in various cities in China. Entrepreneurs have been forced to bear the loss of crores of rupees due to this. Nepali businessmen do not know the condition of the property they were importing in the Tibet region. The problem has been, the problem has been exacerbated by the fears of coronavirus landslide, poor road conditions and rumors of bursting lake in Tibet's Kuti, due to which the Chinese side has prohibited the containers to move. The Department of Water and Meteorology said that there is a general cloud cover across the country. It is running in some places of Province 1, Gandaki Province, Karnali Province and Far Western Province. The department has said that heavy rain is likely in Gandaki Province No. 5, Karnali and some places in the Far Western region this afternoon. There is a possibility of light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning in many places across the country. Similarly, light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is expected in some places across the country on Thursday night. The department has said that there is a possibility of high rain in Province 1, Bhagwati Province, Gandaki Province and some places in the far western province. Meteorologists have said that there will be less rain from tomorrow. The meteorological department has said that there is no possibility of continuous rain from tomorrow even if it rains in some places due to the ongoing monsoon. According to meteorologist Varun Baudel, there is a possibility of rain in some places even though it will be sunny in many places in the afternoon. But due to ongoing monsoon, it will rain in some places from evening to morning. The department has requested to take necessary precautions as the flow of water in the rivers in areas prone to heavy rains may increase. So erosion may occur in the hilly areas, landslide may occur and seaways and water inundation can occur in areas without proper drainage. The department has urged to be vigilant, saying that the road and air transport will be affected due to heavy rains. Passengers and general public have been troubled due to delay in road maintenance in Chabil area of Kathmandu. The Chabil area becomes muddy in the rainy season and dusty in the winter. According to the Road Division Office, Kathmandu, the pitch has been delayed due to the corona epidemic and the lockdown. The division has claimed to have pitched till October. Even in the Chavil Sako Road section, blacktop and seaways management has not been done for years. Due to the delay of Kathmandu Valley Road Expansion Project, the blacktop work on the road section has not been completed in four years. Locals are outraged as the road was not constructed on time. The contract was signed to expand the road by 2074 BS. The construction company has been extending the deadline time and again. The road is being constructed with an investment of Rs 1.75 billion as per the Kathmandu Valley Road Expansion Project. <laughs> माथि का मंचर आऊँ सा भोली बन सा आवाज़ कोई ना पसी बन सा कौन दिन पसी बन सा मीटिंग हो रही था बन सा कोई ये कल्ला टेंडर डाला था बन सा कोई ये कल्ला टेंडर डाला था बन सा इस तरह से गर्दा गर्दा ही वो बातो बीच नौ लोगों लोग लोग और थारा देखी बीस वर्ष नहीं बैठे और ये बनी हमने ये बातो कौन ला बने Pani, or you don't 
Tôi sẽ đặt lên đấy. Chọn bao nhiêu bao đó, chọn nhiều rồi lo phải. Chứ tôi mất tao rồi này kia rồi, nó này grab lên ram nó sang gần đó phải. Có tôi thu lâu lịch tao gọi đấy, ông cha. Anh mang xe lên rồi, tôi chỉ cái bài à đấy. Tè đấy này tè đó. Một tàu bọc trên này nó bao nhiêu bao đấy tôi sắp lên. Cho yêu thích nó vào đây ok. Nên là nó tôi thích nó này phải cầm xe cầm grab lên tao gọi xe đi nó phải chứ. Anh mới là chỉ bắt đầu lên cái đó cái đi. Để đây này cái đó bao giờ sao? Cái này thu lâu, cái này hi lâu. कोई ले आ रहा इंटरनेट को लाई खंजा कोई ले डाल को लागी खंजा कोई ले बिजली को वाले रहा खंजा कोई ले अब तब एको आप लोग पसल आगाडी नहीं ले रहे थे ये दिन बार देखो उनसे हमने यह सात आठ महीने से मतलब डाल को पाइप से ही आगाडी रखे रहा मंचे आवाज़ घर में कार होने करी रख दिया थे हमने यहाँ पे ले उठे रहते निकाल रहे गौरी आइले पंसा आइले पंसा बन्ना बंदे बस छह बार सा भाई शक्कर आइले पिछले तबे वेस्ट पाली पिछले बने ना कोरोना ले कर दा एक ता हमें आकरण तबे बार दे पर दिन भर में बुआनी भी नहीं होता है ना और कोई तेरे बाटो ले कर दा हरी एक दूसरा ना आको मं Police have launched an investigation after the bodies of the two Nepalese were found murdered in Sharjah, UAE. Gulf News quoted police as saying that a preliminary investigation into his murder and had signaled to fight that turned violent. Preliminary investigations have shown that they were violently attacked and killed with sharp weapons, but police have not ruled out the possibility that the killing may have been intentional. Police have not disclosed the full identities of the dead. Police have released only their brief names, including 26-year-old KJ and 37-year-old MR. Both are said to be Nepali citizens. The bodies were found in the Sarkhan residential area. Sharp weapon wounds were found on their face, neck, chest and abdomen. The motive behind the killing has not been established yet. Police have sent the body to a forensic lab for autopsy to certain the cause of the death. According to police, a call was received on August 8 and at around 7 p.m. to provide information about the body. When the police arrived, a large crowd had surrounded the body. According to police, they were killed with a sharp weapon and the weapon has not been identified yet. The case is being investigated by A.L. Garab Police. The motive for the killings has not been identified and no arrests have been made. In the UAE, 110 Nepalese have died in a period of five months due to various reasons. Since March 11, 36 people have died in the UAE due to suicide, murder, corona and various other causes. The bodies of 69 people have been buried in UAE while 26 bodies have been sent to Nepal. The embassy said it had not received the detailed reports on the 11 bodies. Corona infections and lockdowns have led to a decline in the UK economy. The UK economy has seen a decline in April and June compared to January and March. The UK economy contracted by 20.4% in April-June. The downturn has led to a decline in business and a decline in manufacturing and construction. The UK is now in the throes of recession for the first time since 2009. The UK economy has been hit hardest by the impact on the hospital sector. This is all for now. We will be back with more news and updates. Till then, keep watching them at television. May all the sentient beings be at peace. Stay safe.